Hey guys, it's Stephanie with Simmerkey, and today we're doing another featured house tour. Now this house tour was submitted by Angela, aka Cutie Bernice, and this is a world adventures home. And I'll go ahead and read the description first, and then we'll get right into the house tour. So first of all, this is built on a 60 by 60 lot, and this is the home of Chris Ryan. Now Chris Ryan has traveled the globe in search of that award-winning photograph. His collection of, um, of memorabilia <laughs> rivals the finest collectors. His charm will win hearts if his temper doesn't get the best of him. Hmm. <laughs> um, the best views of Stony Falls. Oops, I actually placed this in Sunset Valley, but I guess it's meant to be in Stony Falls. Uh, <laughs> we'll leave it here for now, but, you know, if you decide to download the home, maybe it's probably best if you put it there. So, obviously, this is going to require the World Adventures pack, and I'm not sure if there's others used as well. Um, but anyway, so the best views can be seen from the this World Adventures house. In fact, it was built specifically for that purpose. This is the perfect place to get away from the hustle and bustle of the real world. It is a natural haven of peace and serenity. So, it sounds great. Can't wait to get into it. Let's go ahead and meet Ryan first. All right, so we have Ryan right here, and let's go ahead and see what some of his traits are. He is adventurous, has a photographer's eye, he is hot-headed, charismatic, and friendly. And let's see, um, he is a social network profile photographer. That is his actual career. And looks like he has lots of skills, he has lots of collectibles in his inventory, so that's pretty cool. Lots of photographs, probably from his world travels. So let's just go ahead and see his home now. Okay, so I just realized I accidentally called him Ryan. Ryan is his last name, his name is actually Chris. So let's go ahead and see Chris's home now. So we'll go ahead and just go into live mode and hit play so that he can walk around and do what he wants while we tour the property. So as always, we will start with the outside. It looks like the this is the front of the house, but he actually has a little garden out here, which is really cool. Let's see what type of plants are growing. So we have the midnight bean, wonder petal, some red berry bean plants, green leaf, licorice. Wow, I didn't even know most of these existed in the game. Peppermint, lettuce, grapevine. We've got some, ooh, a pomegranate tree. I was going to say an apple tree, but we have a pomegranate tree and a cherry tree. Very cool. I actually haven't really got into using or playing with... Um, gardens and planting and that sort of stuff in the game so i'm always i'm always curious to see what type of fruits and plants and things that grow so this is really cute i love that there is a pomegranate tree pomegranate tree <laughs> and a cherry tree i didn't even know those existed so that is so freaking cute um we have a little bit of landscaping over here in this corner with some sand and some rocks and some pretty sunflowers oh that's really pretty there, look there's even a bridge that goes over across the water and there's a beautiful tree some lily pads. I think he's stuck somewhere. Let's go ahead and pause and we'll, we'll look for him in a second. But <laughs> this landscaping is really actually beautiful, much better than anything I could ever do. I don't even know how to build a bridge. So already super, super impressed. Um, we have, oh my gosh, look at this fountain. There's like a dragon or something. Whoa, that's a beautiful fountain. I like that a lot. <laughs> Um, so yeah, let's go over the bridge and see what we have over on this side. It looks like we have a little trail that leads to, what's this, the garage? Yeah, some sort of garage. Let's go ahead and peek in here and see what we have. Oops, didn't mean to go to the basement. We'll check that out later. <laughs> All right, so yeah, just your standard garage. Um, he has a nice wagon. There looks like there's some tools and stuff in here. Definitely cool. Okay, we have the mailbox over on this side of the property and just a few little paths lined with beautiful, beautiful flowers. I think the landscaping in this home is absolutely stunning. Very, very beautiful. Good job. Um, so let's see what's around the back of the home. Not sure. Not sure what we have hiding out back here. We'll go ahead and go up a level. It looks like there's some sort of Oh, the house is built actually like on stilts in the water. And we have another little fountain with some flowers back here. So yeah, really, really pretty. Oh my gosh. All right. So let's go ahead and go into the house now. We'll start by going into the front door, which leads to... Actually, let me put the walls back up for a second so we can see exactly what we're looking at. Okay, so there 
actually there's a little bit more out here. There's a wraparound porch that goes around, looks like the whole property. And in the back we have a nice little cookout grilling area over here with um, with a barbecue grill and you know some little storage. We have a nice table with a cow plant on top and some beautiful little pink potted flowers as well. So yeah, this this kind of porch just wraps around the whole the whole property. That's super cool because it's built right here on top of the water. So you can still have these beautiful, gorgeous views and be inside or outside. So I absolutely love that. All right, so we'll go ahead and go on the front door. And we'll go into our camera mode here. I think I'm a little bit better with the controls now, I hope. Um, so we'll start off with this side. Looks like we have a kitchen, and wow, that that's a beautiful kitchen. It looks very, um, very rich and expensive. Like it looks, looks like it's well made with stainless steel appliances, a double sink, or a nice big sink. It's not a double sink. What am I talking about? <laughs> um, nice big counter space. I like the dark woods in here. It's very, very nice. Um, we have a little dining table with four chairs with a beautiful view out this window. Look at that. That's a, a nice big bay window so you could see outside. And yeah, some more appliances. So wow, the kitchen. Really impressed with the kitchen. And let's go ahead and go through here and see what other, what other things we could find before we go over to, to what looks to be like the living room. Okay, so down this hallway looks like this is where the door is to go outside. I'm going to get out of camera mode for a second because these hallways are a little bit narrow for me to navigate through. Um, but we do have a spiral staircase going downstairs kind of hidden over here in this corner. So we'll check that out once we head over to the downstairs area. Um, we'll check out this floor first. And then on the other side of the hallway, we have the double doors which lead outside. And then it looks like we have a dining room over here. Oh, wow. This is definitely a World of Adventures home, you could tell by all of the furniture. Um, you could tell that everything looks like it's been collected over time. There's probably some awesome antiques in here. The chairs are amazing. The wallpaper is great. I mean, this is a really fun, fun dining room. And of course, we have a fireplace back here. Lots of knickknacks and things on the wall. Oh, it's it's beautiful. And I like that it's not completely a square room. It's kind of um, kind of has like this diagonal wall that is completely open, which I really like that. It's really it's really well constructed. And we have a staircase that looks like it goes upstairs, which we'll check out in a little bit. So for now, let's go ahead and go into the living room. We'll go back into our camera mode. And, oh, wow, this is a beautiful living room, too. Very exotic. Um, I love the side tables. They actually look like little chests. Um, the couch is really cool. I love the stripes on it. Lots of plants and greenery. The wallpaper is really nice as well. It definitely has like a very distinguished look about it. You can tell you can tell that this is a world traveler's home. Very cool. It has sort of a, an Asian theme in here as well. We have some beautiful bookshelves and a nice large TV over on top of a fireplace. Absolutely gorgeous. It looks like there's another little door here to go outside. So I love that pretty much anywhere that you're at in this house, you have a direct way to get outdoors to that beautiful wraparound porch and see that beautiful pond and the scenery. So yeah, beautiful views all around from this home. So let's go ahead and do a quick overview of the entire first floor and make sure we didn't miss anything, which of course I did. <laughs> um, what's this? Um, first of all, let's get the lights on. I guess this is a bathroom. Ooh, even with those lights on, it's still really dark, but hopefully you can see this looks like a little bathroom I missed over here tucked away in the corner. Um, we have a sink, a shower, a toilet, and what's over here? Oh, just some windows. So yeah, that's a cute little bathroom here right in front of the staircase that goes downstairs. And then this is outside, but it's down a level, so... I think, let me see, I'm a little bit confused. I figured it out. Okay, so through the living room, through the bookcase, this is kind of cool because it's sort of hidden, but it feels really adventurous. Like if I was a little kid, I would probably love playing hide and seek and running around through here. So anyways, you go through this door and then down the stairs and then over to the corner, 
you go around and you go down some more stairs and then it takes you to this cute little hidden i don't know it's like a little secret garden down here it's very cute and yeah you have the fence so you can't really get out but you can just hang out down here and have this beautiful view as well so there you go I knew I would figure that out. I couldn't tell where the stairs were quite coming from. Okay, so it looks like there is a lower level, though, in addition to that little secret garden area. So we'll go down these spiral stairs and see what we come across. Okay, so this is the basement. Let's see what's down here. I'm very, very intrigued. Um, what is all this? Let's go into camera mode because, like, I don't even know. What is this? like gems you can tell I don't play world adventures very much <laughs> um I'm assuming this is like his treasure collection these are so pretty <gasps> I didn't even know these were in the game oh my god look at this rainbow one I want it I don't know what it is but I want it <laughs> what this is so cool I guess these are different like rocks and stones and gems and diamonds and emeralds and <laughs> sapphires. <laughs> what? So cool. What a nice collection. Oh, and he's got a little, um, I don't know what you call this, but you, you make the nectar here. A little, a little mini nectar in the basement too. Whoa, so cool. Um, it looks like there is, yeah, look at this giant case full of different nectars. I want to try some. <laughs> and then, I don't know, we have these little, are these bugs or something? Huh. I don't think they're moving if they're alive because I'm paused. Let's hit play and see what we have here. I don't know, they're still not moving. Oh, this one's moving. What are they, like beetles? I don't know, guys. This is so cool. <laughs> um, stuff like this reminds me that there's so much more to The Sims 3 that I will probably never discover everything, even if I played every day for the rest of my life. Like, this is just the coolest game ever. So let's go ahead and do a little aerial view. I feel like I might be missing something, something else down here, but maybe not. No, that's it. That's it. Um, so, yeah. Well, there's some stuff on the floor here, too. I don't know what these are. Some relics, maybe? Ugh. All these jewels, though. Especially this diamond one. Oh, my gosh. I'm... I'm... I want it. <laughs> well, I guess I'll come down and view it. Oh, you... Oh! You can... You can hover over them and it tells you what it is. So, this is an emerald cut luminorious gem. <laughs> Scientists were unable to come up with a clever name for this gem due, due to its mind-numbing color scheme. It is compromised of several minerals, including... Oh, come back. Including one that is only found in sharks? I don't know. This emerald cut luminorious gem is my favorite thing ever right now. <laughs> this one's pretty too. What is this? Uh, a plum bob cut rainbow gem. Oh my gosh. I want, I want to collect gems now. What the heck? How did I not know about this? <laughs> Um, there's some, like, gold and silver bars here, too. A copper ingot. Oh, man. I don't know. I could stay down here and stare at this forever, but I'm sure you guys want to see the rest of the house. So, let's continue uh, upwards. Oh, he you? keeps getting stuck somewhere. Uh, Chris, where are you? Well, what are you doing up here? I told you to go downstairs. <laughs> well, we'll come upstairs and check this out in a second. Why don't, why don't you nap? Can you get through? No, you can't. You know what? You're you're gonna come down here and sit because you're bothering me now. <laughs> All right, so let's go back to the other staircase. So we're back on the main floor. So when we go up this staircase here, we're gonna go up to the second floor. And there's another spiral staircase going upstairs. So I guess there's even more up there. But um, let's see. We've got a hallway. We're gonna go into aerial view because there's some little. narrow hallway a little narrow hallway so anyways it looks like over uh as soon as you come up the stairs there is a a living room type area go ahead and go down here and see what we have 
Wow, this is really cool. Also, we have some globes, a beautiful, beautiful fireplace, some bookshelves. Um, over here, we have um, a bust of a beautiful naked lady. <laughs> um, we have a computer area. I love the colors in here, the turquoise and the black and the blues just look so pretty together. Um, we have some beautiful windows, some nice wall art. I mean, just look at that. What, what a cool room. I really love the furniture and the color scheme. Alrighty, so let's go ahead back into our aerial view and see what other room we can find. So over on the side of the hallway, we come into what looks like a kid's bedroom, maybe, maybe a teenager's bedroom, probably kids because there's a toy box and the block. So there are double beds here for your children to relax, sleep, hang out. Um, we got a little dressing area over here so that they could change in the morning and some cute little wall art all over. So that's a fun little room. And then over here we have a bathroom. What a cute bathroom. I love that. I love that you put the curtains here over the bathtub to make it actually look like shower curtains. I don't know why I've never thought to do that, but that's really, really clever. Um, I love the purple and the blue. We have a nice little sink here and it looks like, oops, it looks like the sink was placed over a desk or a counter to give it some extra space on the side. I can't really tell. Um, I'm going to go into build mode real quick or buy mode real quick just because I'm curious how, how this was done. I love learning cute little new tricks. Okay, so it's just an end table that she turned backwards and hid, like tucked in here. I'll escape so I don't ruin it. Really clever, clever building. I love it. All right, and we have some pretty little windows with some curtains up here, um, some art over the toilet. Yeah, definitely a cute little bathroom. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and then over on the side, it looks like we have another bedroom or... Maybe not. It looks like it looks like it's a bedroom and the bed's missing. Maybe it was an item that I don't have. But we have a dresser over on this side. It looks like we have the little basket from the university expansion pack. And then over on this corner we have a little chair with a bookshelf and a fireplace. And then what's back in this corner? Oh, it's just a little corner for decoration. Have a little window and a plant back here. Just very, very interesting choices. Um, stuff I would never think to do in a build. And I really like it. So yeah, I would I would imagine this is a bedroom. So let's just put a bed in here because like I said, I think I think it might have just been an item that I didn't have. So I'm just gonna stick one in here. There we go. There we go. I'm I'm pretty sure that's probably what it was meant to be. All right. And then over on this side, we have oh, another bathroom. These bathrooms are beautiful. I mean, in the description, she said that this house was like a peace haven and full of serenity. And oh my gosh, she wasn't kidding. Like, look at this beautiful bathroom. This is a bathtub I would kill for. <laughs> and we have the little stones on the side there, a stand up shower, the color is great. The patterns are great in here. Really cool, really cool bathroom. I could see relaxing in there for sure. And then another, oh, another bedroom. Okay, so this one has like more greens and stuff. And what are these? Illuminator of the Illuminati? <laughs> what? Um, what? I don't even know where those came from. How interesting. And then over on this side, we have a dresser with a mirror and some other cool little doohickeys. I don't even know. Little boy soldier incense holder. I, I don't know how I've never seen this before. I'm a little bit confused where they came from. Maybe we can try cloning it. Nothing here can be cloned. It must be something that you get during your world adventures or a souvenir you buy in a different... A different country using the world expansions pack that has to be what it is because i've never seen it before and i don't really play world adventure so that's probably why you can't clone it either because you have to actually buy it um i'm assuming these lights are the same way so that's so cool and then we have these beautiful double doors with a nice gorgeous view outside and i think this is the um the balcony that we were looking at before with the lounge chairs 
oops, go back up. Yeah, okay, so he did find his, his way out here. He wanted to get out here and he was getting mad. I don't know how he got stuck. I don't know how he got up here to begin with, but um, yeah, he's he's sitting down now and relaxing. And we have uh, some champagne and champagne bottles over here or some wine or some nectar or grape juice or whatever, whatever you want that to be. I want to see what his view is because that looks, that looks beautiful. Oh, yeah. He keeps getting stuck, though, but that's a nice view. All right. So let's go ahead and see what else we missed on this floor. And I think there was one more floor upstairs. Okay. So we got that whole floor. So we have one bedroom here two bedrooms here and the third bedroom here, a couple of bathrooms and an extra living space. So very cool. I really like this house. So here's the spiral staircase that takes us to the third floor. So let's go up and see what we find. Oh, it's a game room. <laughs> very cool. Nice big game room. Let's go ahead and get down here in camera mode so that we can see a little bit better. I'm already excited about the game room. All right, so you come up the stairs and then there is an easel here so that you can do your painting. You have a beautiful little view out the window so that you can get your inspiration to paint. Very cool little corner. And then, oops, we'll check outside in a second. Um, we've got a foosball table, a pool table, a stereo system. What else is up here? Let's get out of camera mode. Never mind. <laughs> um, like even just this little corner with the windows right around the, the staircase that comes up here is such a cool little touch. I mean, this person definitely knows how to build. Good job. <laughs> uh, we have a little TV on this side. We have the chess table so that they can gain their logic skills. Uh, we have another TV and video console. We have a little corner here with a bench and a guitar so your Sims can gain some music skills. Um, here's a better shot of the foosball table, pool table, sound system, and then an arcade machine. Oh my gosh. I would just hang out here all the time. And then over on this corner, it looks like we have a little bathroom, nothing too crazy, just a toilet and sink, just a nice little half bath for when you're up here playing your games. And then we do have these double doors that lead to another wraparound porch up here. There's a telescope so you can gain some more logic and discover planets and stars. And then there is a treadmill out here so that you can also exercise. And while you're out here exercising, you have a beautiful view of the pond. <laughs> so yeah, oh my gosh. I love this house. I really do. I wonder, yeah, that's the top floor, right? Yeah, that's the end of the, that's the end of the house. <laughs> I'm just going to do another quick floor plan of everything just because I'm so impressed with this house. Um, there's something here in the corner. What's this? I don't know. Maybe just a building structure. Oh, you know what that is? I think that's the chimney from the fireplace. Yeah, it's just hidden up there. That's kind of a cool idea. Cool. So here's our overshot again of the game room back downstairs to the three bedrooms, and then back to the first floor with the living room and kitchen and dining room. And we'll do another shot of outside while I go ahead and wrap up this video because this house is absolutely beautiful. Um, and Angela, I know, <laughs> I know when you submitted this, you were thinking that I wasn't going to want to tour your house because the other houses that I've toured were like a haunted manor and the Lizzie Borden bed and breakfast. But that's not a theme that I necessarily chose. That's just the type of builds that people were sending me. But this home is seriously, seriously one of my favorites that I've ever seen. And I'm not just saying that. You have a very big talent for building. Um, just you have these little touches here and there that make this home so fun and so interesting and intriguing and you have you have items in here that I've never seen before so like seriously this is one of my favorite houses I've ever toured this is one house that I'm definitely going to keep in my game usually after I'm done touring the home I remove it from my game and I still keep the, the save file just in case I want to use it at some point but this is so peaceful and tranquil just like your description said that um, I actually want to keep it as like a second home for my sims like a little getaway place where they could come travel and relax um it's like a little vacation home. And my favorite part especially is this outside area with the pond and the bridge. I mean, you need to give yourself more credit because this place is 
stunning, like absolutely stunning. I'm so happy that you decided to share this with me. And seriously, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. This is such a beautiful home and I'm so honored that you wanted me to tour it. So we'll go ahead and end the video here. I will put a link to the download of this home so you can add it to your game. I highly recommend it to your game if you have the World Adventures expansion pack. And I will also put a link to... Um, Angela's Sims 3 store studio I think it's called like you could go see her other builds I'm not sure if there's any others up there and then I will also put a link to her Twitter so that you can find her on Twitter if you want as well but thank you so much for watching I want you guys to submit more homes to me because this is like my new favorite series on my channel. I love touring homes. I love seeing what you guys build. It is so inspirational, so creative, so motivational. Um, I don't care if your house is plain and boring in your own mind. I love to see each and every house that is submitted to me. So I will tour them. I'll tour any house you want to send me. Don't, don't feel like your house isn't good enough because it's hard to build in The Sims. It really is. So anyone who takes the time to do it is, is, it's impressive to me. Anyone who takes the time to build a house, um, I really appreciate it. So you can actually submit your house in several ways. You can just go ahead and comment below in this video with a link to your home. Don't forget to include a description so that I have an idea of what I'm about to tour. And um, try not to use any custom content or store content because items will obviously disappear and sometimes it really takes away from the home. So yeah, just give me that brief description of the home. It doesn't have to be a house. It could be a community lot. It could be anything else that you've built in the game. It can have a family. It doesn't have to have a family. Either way, it's great. Um, also, when you send me a link to the home, please also include where you want me to give you a shout out. So if in my description of the video, you want me to also shout out your YouTube page or your Twitter account or your Facebook or Instagram or anything else like that, make sure that's included so I can give you the proper credit. And you can submit anyway, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Google+. You would email me at thesimmerkey at gmail.com. Anywhere you want to find me, just type in Simmerkey and I should pop up. And if there is a social media um, website that you normally use and that I don't have an account for, let me know and I will either create one or be more active on there. But yeah, there's plenty of ways to find me. So thank you so much for submitting. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.